All right. In the last video, we're still talking about uh, color separations. In the last video, I showed you how you can download from our Dropbox the actions for our lab, right? You can also find actions online. They are ATN files. You can buy them, you can download them, and load them into Photoshop for yourself. They are like VHS tapes on a shelf. You select the one you want. So I'm going to click on where it says Carl Color Seps. That's the video I want to play. But this actually isn't the video. That's the family of videos. So use the drop down here and you'll see all of the actions that are embedded within that. So if I want to just do what I had done the long way in the last video, I can click on the cyan color separation and hit play just like a VHS tape. All of my actions have built into it opening a new file. So it's not going to overwrite your existing file, but they work on a flattened image. So your image has to be flattened. So if I hit play, voila, there it is. Exactly what I created in the video before, right? The only difference is because I use this for my professional work, this is at 300 pixels per inch, not 350. So if I then take this, select it all, copy it, paste it on top, you'll see that it's smaller. But I actually like that because then by holding down option and making it match, it's going to soften out those dots a little bit. And this is what I like about hand printing. I'll even use shift and kind of squeeze it in. This is what you get uh, misregistrations so that things are slightly not matching in the same way. So then I hit return and you can see my cyan right over my image, but I can of course play with its opacity and I can play with its blending mode. So multiply there works pretty well at 53%. Right. Okay. That's the cyan action. Let's remember my actions work on flattened images. So now instead of doing cyan, yellow, magenta, black separately, let's click on this one. This is the, the pressing the easy button, right? CMYK full run. Why do I say they're like VHS tapes? Well, because once you found the right tape, don't open it up any further. <laughs> Once you get to the inside, if you mess with anything in here, you're going to screw up the whole process of how it works, right? Make sense? So you don't want to pull out the magnetic tape from these VH, VHS actions. But if I click on CMYK color, let me delete this one so it doesn't get confused. My actions are also set to have one image open in Photoshop at a time. So you just have one image open and they're flattened and then you can play it and it will do all the work for you. So this one will create a separate cyan one, a separate yellow one, a separate magenta one. And because these computers are pretty fast, a separate black one. And then because I'm so great, it will give you a combined layer one, which intentionally has it. So it's misregistered. So you notice how the cyan is a little off from the others. That's so you can hand register it yourself with your different layers. So now I'm going to take the cyan with the move tool and I'm going to nudge it into place or maybe make it a little off intentionally, right? And notice it also layers them all up in the way that things are printed except these are my preferred printing things. Usually you would put yellow at 100% on the bottom. So we could try that. This puts yellow at 45% uh, near the top. And it puts black at 80%. It puts magenta at 68%. And it puts cyan at 100%. But if I swap the yellow and the cyan and change those percentages, you can get slightly different color mixing. And you'll see the Gaussian roses that are created as they overlap. 
especially when I get black in the mix there. Okay, so now I'm going to take not the white background, but I'm going to move all of these into a folder. Then I can take that whole folder. I can turn off all of these. So the action does all of that busy work for you. It's just coded in. But I can take this whole folder and then just layer it on top and then just resize with Command-T the whole folder to fit, holding down Option. It's weird that's a little off, so I'm going to do Shift, kind of stretch it into place. Slightly misregistered. And now I have not just the cyan, but I have all layers that I can play with, right? And I don't know the black, maybe let's make that black fit a little bit better. But I like how it, it softens some of the edges in an interesting way. And I can play with the different opacities. I can play with different blending modes. I can do it for the whole, the whole group or for the individual inks. And it's a, a way of giving finish to the work. All right. That is CMYK color separation. By the way, if you use an action, then save it. So I'm going to save this as my color separation version. And it will save those actions into Photoshop for you. Okay, next class, presentations and assignment seven, digital painting. I'll call this my color separation action test. You too.